Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial on Falcon BMS. I'm going to show you a couple of things today, especially here, how to set up uh, BMS for the first time and a few tricks about what you need to do um, in order to have a windowed version of BMS and start correctly with your first setup. Um, this is going to cover and everything in regards to the installation of Falcon BMS. Uh, I'll cover other things um, in regards to setup joysticks and other things like that in a future video. Um, but let's start with what we've got. So I'm on a fresh install of Windows here. As you can see, it's a very brand new image. Um, I'm running a virtual machine here. So I have downloaded the packages that we currently have available for BMS. So we are at the 434 update one and two have been already released. And this is what we're going to do. I'm going to give you the full process on how to install BMS correctly. So first thing first, you need to have the original Fal uh, Falcon 4.0 uh, original installed on your hard drive. So I do have the original MicroProse Falcon 4 installed here on my hard drive C. I only have one. So if you have a couple of those, you can actually uh, change that um, to another drive if you need to. Um, I do recommend having a separate drive for flight sims in general um, and games uh, so it does not affect Windows performance. It's usually better that way. Uh, but here, since it's a virtual machine and I'm not going to use it for gaming anyway, it's just for the demonstration purposes here, um, I'm going to have MicroProse in the same folder, in the same drive as Windows. And um, Falcon 4.34 setup, which actually is this folder extracted directly at the root level of uh, the drive C. So um, I could have placed that anywhere else. Um, it's not a big deal. It's just for the purpose of that video, I've placed that here because it made more sense in regards to what I want to show you. All right, so we've got a setup. So instead of installing right now Falcon BMS and losing time in the process of updating afterwards, uh, what I'm going to do here is directly going through through the updates. So we have update one and update two here. Um, so it, since those are incremental updates, you'll need to apply them uh, one after the other. So we'll start with, so we already have the base package unzipped uh, at the root of or C hard drive. Um, so we're going to launch update one. So in the process of updating Falcon BMS, one thing you need to understand is that you have uh, to always update the installer folder instead of trying to update the BMS a game folder. So we are going always to aim for the setup folder as it's already shown up here. And that's a correct, um, that's the correct path for the uh, 434 setup as I've been showing up just before. So I'm going to install it and you're going to see it's fairly quick. And it's going to launch the setup then. I'm not interested in doing that now. But what I'll do is do now the update two. So now we have the update two. Understood. Again, same thing, always aiming for the setup folder and not the BMS game folder and install. It's be, it's already over. I'm obviously on an SSD even though it's a virtual machine. So what we're going to do now is, now the setup is over. I can put that away and now focus on the installation itself. So what's going to happen here is that we're going to go for the full installation of Falcon BMS. So now we have the Falcon BMS set up. Um, and so first thing first, license agreement, I hit accept. Then I'm going to select where I want to have it. So one thing about the hard drives is I do recommend having a physical hard drive that is different. If you have the same hard drive that is split into several hard disks, 
that's not the proper way to go. I would recommend to go for a separate physical hard drive if you can afford it. Not everyone can, but I do recommend strongly that you have a separate hard drive for your games and especially Sims. Um, here I have an SSD. I do recommend SSDs. If you, if you, again, if you can afford it, that will be faster to load your BMS setup in the future. So here I don't really have a choice. I have the hard drive C that is the only one available in that virtual machine. So I'm going to hit next. It's going to verify the integrity of the downloaded files. So it's going to take a, a few moments to actually go through the process of verifying the files uh, before installing it. So you will see on the left side downloaded one. So in theory, we should have the base package update one and update two. And on the currently installed, if I had something installed, it would detect if it's the core package than the and any other updates that could actually exi already exist in my setup. Uh, this is not the case here. Um, so the left part should be populated, but the uh, yeah, and the right part should be empty. So let's wait a couple seconds and that should be doing it. All right, we should now it's already popping up. You see base package popping up. Then we should have dot one and dot two coming up. All right, all right, there we go. Um, okay, so I'm going to go and hit next. You see, currently installed. I got nothing installed. That is normal and expected. So if I had any updates, I would see it here. So I would tick the box of the update that I need to install. So I'll hit next because I want to install a fresh new game here with update one and two. And I would apply the same process if there was a new update to come up. To come up. All right, so DirectX is going to install because we need um, the uh, libraries from DirectX to be updated to match uh, the requirements from Falcon PMS. So I'm going to go through the process of installation uh, and by the magic of editing, I'm basically going to cover once the installation is over. So let's wait a couple seconds here uh, on the video and while we wait for the installation to be over. Okay, so now the installation is over and uh, we are definitely going to create the shortcut on the desktop and anything with the start uh, menu. Going to hit finish, we're over with the BMS installation. We have now a French, fresh install of the game. And one thing that we're going to do is that I do recommend having the 2D uh, version uh, or the 2D window um of bms not in full screen mode but in in windowed mode so there are a couple things that i do recommend here um, to do first so i'm going to hit properties here and going to edit here by adding a few lines with a dash so as you can see i've got window so space dash window space dash mono so i'm going to remove this one this one is probably linked to monologue which is basically the debug uh, window that comes up. I usually use that when it comes to uh, um, having a bit more in information when the game crashes so I can send that to the devs and things like this. But you don't really need it. Um, I, I just do recommend to have at least window uh, here and I add no movie because I don't like having movies and games anyway. I don't install the codex required to actually make it work. So I don't need it and I had it. So I'm sure that the movies will not show up during the game because I don't really need it. Anyway, hit apply. Say that I won't continue because the icon is shared amongst all the users from the uh, computer. Hit OK, and uh, here uh, we're going to launch uh, the BMS launcher. So as you can see the command lines, it has recognized the window in new movie. Uh, so that's good. And um, I'm going to have first um, cockpit display extraction. That's the first thing you would go for. Uh, so I will remove the borders for the main 2D window. And we are 180 resolution here. So I'm going to have something like five, I don't know, 500. Um, and this one probably going to be 350, something like that. Um, I will not be very well centered, but who cares? You can adjust that whenever you want. 
the main 3D will stay at 0, 0. And that's about it of what I need right now um, for the current setup. So save and close. And then we're going to hit the configuration here. Uh, just a quick word on the configuration. So you have a couple options you can set up outside from the game. And I do recommend having a view on what's in general. Um, I do untick play intro movie on startup because for me it doesn't work. I haven't installed the codecs and I don't want to uh, actually make that work. So I'm not really taking care of that. So I untick the box. A few setups here that might be interesting for you while we are in the um, configuration client. So the use HD altimeter, this one depends on the host. You, you should always ask or check if the host is in North American altimeter, uh, ounces of mercury, uh, or in millibars, which is usually used in or European theaters. So use HD is the one that is currently um, checked and I'm okay with that. So for general, that's the only thing I want to go for. And there would be a couple other options such as cloud density depending, but you can read through the manual to actually be able to understand what are those features that were added uh, as part of the update too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no need to actually make tick anything here. It's okay. If you want, you can uh, go for the high resolution textures. Um, for example, here, as I am on virtual machine, I would definitely uh, uncheck a couple of those options because I don't need to have fancy graphics uh, because I'm on a v VM. And so I'm going to disable that especially because I don't need it. And I'm going to uh, use low resolutions. Um, just to cut off the graphics on my end, I don't need it. Um, and uh, and uh, cloud density high because I want to reduce the impact of weather, although I'm not really going to use it anyway. Um, so there we go. Um, you also have eye contracts MFDs if you want. Um, and a couple other options. Feel free to read the uh, manual. Um, from BMS, there's a lot of interesting t stuff in there, so I do recommend reading it. All right, so we're going to apply the changes here. So it tells you what I uh, currently have uh, changed in terms of settings and exit. So before we hit and enter the game, which is definitely not we're going to do what we're going to do right now, um, we're going to go back into the BMS folder. So you can see now it has been added. Uh, so you've got two distinct folders, the setup and the main game folder. Uh, so the one we've got here. So bin is the uh, application files, um, uh, executable files that are uh, hosted here. You would find in 64 basically the uh, BMS executable file and x86, uh, 32 bits basically, you would find the IVC stuff. Um, so IVC, yeah, IVC client and server would be hosted in that folder. If you want to have a couple things that you need to change here, especially in the IVC client ini file, I uh, do recommend checking in uh, this folder. Data is game uh, assets, I'm not going through that. This one is particularly important. You'll spend a lot of time browsing through there, um, especially because of the manuals. Everything is in there. Um, I do recommend spending some time here and you've got everything that you require inside it. Uh, the input devices, this is important and probably be the, uh, 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 used as asset for a, a next uh, video on the subject. Um, there will be uh, I will do a specific um, uh, thing about it anyway. And um, so this one, I don't need it. Uh, that's a uh, game asset again. Uh, tools. Important if you are interested in doing uh, extraction, display extractions. Um, so I do recommend checking this tool out. Uh, there's an explanation in the... Um, um, in uh, the manual and uh, the one you would need to change is the RTT client, uh, edit it uh, since it would actually help you getting the cockpit display extraction running up through uh, this one.
The RTD server is basically if you want to host um, a server extracting your displays for uh, a client on another computer to actually run that. So that could be interesting. Um, and then uh, the one that you will be probably checking a lot is the user folder. So you've got the Acme file which contains the uh, flight logs and things that you can review uh, from your flight once you have recorded your flights from within the game uh, you would find the, the uh, VHS file which is the uh, playback file uh, from the ACMI here. Uh, briefing I don't use it it's only if you extract briefings from Falcon BMS config this one is important it will contain your configuration data as well as the keyboard data um, so the key files that you can see here any key file that you would use and customize would need to be in that folder otherwise Falcon will not see it uh, a couple of things interesting phone book is basically your multiplayer addresses that you have recorded from within the game everything will be stored from in there um, and then you would get your own uh, main profile that will also be um, in there here uh, but it's not created because we have not launched um, uh, BMS uh, for now. Uh, the Falcon BMS CFG file is the one that you would probably go for when it comes to edit some of the features uh, that are not available through the BMS configurator that we've been seeing just before. A, a couple parameters are indeed available um, from uh, the configurator uh, application that you have but other options that are uh, deep within the game uh, would be accessible directly from the CF so the config file that you have here because obviously some features are not available directly from the configurator and you might want to uh, change that so that's about it about this folder other things that you might be interested in uh, logs it will contain the logs from the game especially if the game crashes go into that folder, you will see what might have caused that. Uh, patches that are, this folder is specifically for the squadron patches, if I remember correctly, and the pictures obviously is for the pictures that you take from within the game. Um, all right, that's, um, that's about it for the, um, I would say, uh, the configuration of Falcon and, and especially here, the first setup of it. Um, and I hope it helped you into getting accustomed to the uh, game folder and the way it's supposed to be updated and installed. Um, this is probably going to stay for a while and I will update the video if anything in regards to that would change in the future. For now, it stays, it stayed like that since 432. So I don't think it will change uh, soon enough. Anyway, hope it was useful for you. I uh, will be covering other things in other videos. Until then, well, enjoy Falcon BMS, have safe flights and see you around soon. Cheers. Bye.